Hello, this is uh, Dr. Theodore Anderson. I'm CEO of Holly Ocular Research and Development, Inc., a company that's devoted to plasma technology. Uh, these are our plasma antenna prototypes at the 2019 IEEE APS meeting in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Uh, I'm going to do demonstrations of these prototypes. The first is a FM radio plasma antenna, and these tubes here are the plasma antenna for the radio. Uh, there's a FM radio on the inside, and so if I turn the radio on, you hear nothing but static. Then I turn the plasma antennas on, you get a signal. I turn the plasma antennas off, you hear nothing but static. Once more, I turn the plasma antennas on, you hear a signal. I turn it off, the signal's gone, and you hear static. So I'll turn this off. We use fluorescent tubes because the phosphor coatings, the glow of the phosphor coatings will tell you which antenna's on and which one is off. Okay, here's our second. Uh, uh, plasma antenna, radio antenna. This is the radio. Uh, it's an FM radio. We also have an AM radio in there. Uh, and this is the what's called a variable density uh, plasma antenna. By varying the current in this power supply, I can uh, increase or decrease the plasma density. So here, this knob here is the current. This one over here is the voltage. This is the on button so the power supply is on and I'm going to see the, the current is not on yet because there's no ionization there's no plasma in that bulb right now so I'm going to turn the current on and now the plasma comes on and as I increase keep turning the plasma gets more and more dense and now I'm going to turn the radio on And you hear a signal. So if I go over here and I turn the current down, we'll lose that signal. Now see that you'll see the plasma disappear. You lose the signal. I increase the, the current. The plasma comes on. I get a signal. Now what happens is I decrease the signal. I begin to lose the decrease the density of the plasma and the plasma goes away I begin to lose the signal and the signal gets distorted. Okay, here I'm losing it. But what happens is the FM electromagnetic waves are passing right through the plasma antenna and this, they're, not, they're not picking up the FM electromagnetic waves. But they could be picking up AM uh, electromagnetic waves because they're lower in frequency. So the low frequency ones can be picked up by this antenna, but the FM waves, which are higher than the AM, go right through it. So once again, I turn down the current, I lose the uh, plasma density, the antenna, the signal goes away, and the antenna's vanished, because there's no plasma. All right, the next one is this uh, smart receiving plasma antenna. And what this will do is this thing, will, this antenna will uh, uh, scan in the azimuthal angular direction and find a transmitter and lock onto that transmitter. And I'm going to demonstrate right now uh, the scanning. So this is the plasma antenna. What happens is that the, it will scan and the tube, it's scanning with two tubes off. So the two tubes off will be the aperture for this antenna and that will be the open space for a signal to get to the inside antenna. So here you're using plasma physics to steer and shape the antenna beam instead of phase the ray technology. So I'm going to turn, this is the control for the uh, this smart plasma receiving antenna. So I turn on, this is the scanner right here, this, this part right here, that's the scanner. So I turn that scanner on Turning the scanner on, you'll see it start to scan. So there it's scanning right now, it's looking for a signal. Uh, 
We have a Zigbee uh, transmitter. If you stand back and turn the Zigbee transmitter on, it will find that signal and lock onto it. But because of the human traffic around here, that uh, it obstructs that. So uh, I will go on to the next uh, prototype. The next prototype is the. Uh, <clears throat> This is the smart plasma transmitting antenna. And <clears throat> this uh, will scan 360 degrees in the azimuthal direction. And it can be picked up by uh, a receiving antenna over here. That's the receiving antenna. There's a dipole antenna there. And that's a field uh, test measurement device. And so now, We've got, uh, up here is the battery pack, which is hooked to the, uh, uh, the transmitter. <clears throat> the transmitter is connected to an antenna inside this uh, annular ring of tubes. So now I'm going to turn on, the power supply is on, and now I'm going to turn on the electronic scanning device, which is right here. And you'll see it start to scan. All right, now it's scanning 360 degrees and as it scans, <clears throat> it has two tubes open in the direction of the uh, receiving antenna over here. You can see that once the signal's picked up by this receiver, the needle will go over. As you can see, the needle <clears throat> is the, showing that the antenna is receiving a signal. So, okay, it's scanning 360 degrees, scanning another another 360 degrees, another 360 degrees, another 360 degrees. Uh, so there it is, it's, it's scanning and singing, sending a signal uh, to this receiving antenna here. And you can see that it's picking up the signal by the motion of the uh, needle. And <clears throat> so <clears throat> this also uses uh, plasma physics to steer and shape the antenna beam rather than phase the rays. So that device is working pretty well. All our prototypes here are working pretty well today. All right, thank you very much for watching.